too early, man. I don't do this time of day. Welcome back, everybody. Zaza Rides here. We're having another garage day. I needed to take my uh, rear wheel off to get a new tire on, and we actually did that already. Johnny here got it off in maybe five minutes. I was just dropping off the bike, and he took it off in two seconds, took it in to get a new rubber on there. Awesome. So now we're just gonna mount it up, but I've also got some new bags. We got some cheap Amazon bags. I'll whip them out here in a second, show you. Uh, we're gonna mount some bags up. We're gonna check the turn signal that I messed up when we did the bars. And I think that's it. Wheel, bags, turn signal, maybe. Good stuff, let's go. Lovely, ain't it? New wheel. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, bag time. So here's the hardware for the new bags. Not anything special for the struts. Struts, mounts, whatever you want to call them. So these are going to go like there and there. Yeah, because I want it to sit behind the shock. So we're going to take these out. Get some washers to put it in, on there and then put the struts on, the little mounts. So these are $80 Amazon bags. Get off. So these are 80 bucks, brand new, oh, locking yeah. bags. They're just normal plastic, but I mean for 80 bucks, who cares? Yeah, I mean, I like the shape. They're gonna look good. All right, so I wanna put it behind the shock there. It'll sit like that right next to it. That looks pretty good. Not, it's not too wide. So we gotta map out the holes for these. Drill out the bag, put in all the gear there, put them on. Let's get them on. So we have to do this side first, because uh, this shock is larger. So it needs to be as far back as this shock allows, not the other one. Just use a little red grease. Got it all sat where we want it. We're gonna drill. We gotta open the lids uh -huh. and line them up opposite and uh -huh. then mark the other one so we can drill the same. Okay. We had to drill bigger holes to fit the uh, isolator grommet whatevers. Those are in. We gotta push in these guys and then see if we drill the holes properly so it'll mount up right. I hope we drill the right size hole. So we got all these little uh, spacer grommet things in. Had to use the screws to squeeze those uh, internal metal rings in. We didn't have a drill bit big enough for the holes for these to fit great but we used the biggest one we had. So, you know, it's good enough. Let's see if uh, they fit on here. All right, they're on. It's pretty sturdy on there, considering where the mounting points are. That ain't going nowhere. So that's one side down. Cool, that's what they look like in there. Easier to put on than my old bag, shoot. Those ones sucked. And then when I want to take these off, I can just take them off at the top here. I don't even have to take them off through the inside of the bag. I'm gonna take the bag off, because we got a, we're gonna cut the rest of this bar off, because the mounting is good, we got it all set up. We got the other side going. So uh, I might get the other seat on here real quick, just to make sure that these aren't in the way. I really don't think they're gonna be in the way though. It works with this seat just fine. Got like two finger clearance there. Nice, nice. All right, let's get this off. Side one is done. Took way longer. 
but we did take our time with the measuring and the drilling so hopefully they're good they are on pretty snug I'm just hoping these uh it's not stretching the plastic ready to crack in any second so just imagine that on the other side let's do that still got to put the nuts on the inside but that's how they look from the back there's a little side view get a little front view nice thanks Johnny so helpful not bad $80 bags off Amazon but uh, I need to go to work so we're gonna wrap this up in a couple days very cool pretty nice bags you can hear the quality <laughs> all right so time to run see you in a couple days okay back on the next day we've got the bags on Johnny cleaned them thanks Johnny gonna go over the turn signal see if we can get that figured out we checked the plugs make sure I didn't lean it out too much which I did so we gotta richen up the carb a little bit and get everything tightened down and I think we're good to go uh, bags look pretty sweet though especially without the fairing I kind of like it it's pretty good very nice very nice okay let's get to work We're gonna trim down that brow piece that was there so it actually fits with the uh, risers. My approved safety steel toe sandals. Oh, are those those uh, the flojos? <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. We're gonna check the turn signal. Yeah, you might have fucking yanked that thing too much. So, both blinkers work, both running lights work. It's this, the up up here that doesn't work. So, means I screwed up something with the actual turn signal. Cool, 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 cool. Anyway. We cut it short, we stripped it, put it to the battery. Still no power coming to the light, so this one's kaput. Thing. I'm just gonna take off the other front run without front lights for a minute. You're a California police officer, leave me alone. Thank you. It's time to zip tie everything back together. Put my phone mount on, new phone mount. Little quad lock ball mount. It's all finished, re-zip tied. We actually got this back on there because we ground off some of that. Bags are on still. Looks good without the front fairing, I gotta say. I like it. We adjusted the clutch to be a little better, get a little more play. Uh, hopefully it works. We're gonna roll it off and see if we got the clutch right. Let's go. bike is finished it looks super cool without the fairing i gotta say i really like it the new bags came out awesome 81 dollars off of amazon very cool uh we're gonna hop on ride home do my outro on the road let's go all right brother Feels good to be back on the bike. I'm really glad uh, I got these bags. They ended up being really cool. They mount up to a really nice spot, just like I wanted to have them. They're a little bit higher and uh, they're behind the shock because I didn't want them sticking out really far. So I didn't want to put them in front of the shock or anything. And uh, they're further back. So they'll help with uh, my passenger being on the back. Pretty nice roomy bags for 80 bucks. You do have to drill your own holes and use the iffy mounts that they provide. I mean, you don't have to. You can make your own mounts if you're so inclined. Oh, 
Oh, it feels so good to be back on the bike. After the bars, the tire, and the rain, we got clear sunny days. We just had a few days of wind and that's gone, but now we are all good to ride. Well, I'm just gonna go get some gas, then head home. Nothing too much for the rest of the video, rest of the day. Appreciate y'all coming out to check out my video, especially with my awesome irregular upload schedule now. But if you like the video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. If you got any questions about these bags, I'll try and answer them. If I can, I'll put the link down below for them. But I'll see you in the next video. And until then, y'all ride safe now you're here.